How did you, Gregorio, now uh, had taken a tour of this museum, uh, Pirate Treasure Museum here yeah. in St. Augustine, and in fact is with a pirate even as we oh, speak. Oh, I've been looking forward to this. Good morning, Renata. Give us a tour. What's going on up there? Good morning. We are inside the Pirate Museum in St. Augustine. We have a special guest here. We are with Captain William Mayhem. He's been here since the beginning. You are the lead pirate. First off, you're telling us all about how this is the largest pirate museum in the world in terms of artifacts. What kind of stuff do we have here? We have 850 artifacts on authentic pirate history, ranging all the way back to 400 years ago. Most of it during the golden age of piracy, the 1680s to the 1720s, but we do have things that, artifacts that go back to Sir Francis Drake and Robert Siddles, two pirates that actually attacked St. Augustine. Wow. Everything about this museum is very real, it's very family friendly, and it's very exciting to be able to share pirate history with all the tourists that come to St. Augustine and visit. Definitely, and we know even more tourists are coming to St. Augustine now, so even more people can see this. We talked about some of your favorite artifacts. There was the pirate treasure treasure chest, pirate and then chest, we have the flag. And then the flag. All yes. right, let's go over to the flag. It's over in this room. We're starting at the helm this of the ship. This is the captain's quarters of the pirate and treasure museum, and upon this wall sits an original Jolly Roger, 173 years old. One of only three we know that exist in the entire world. Wow. There was is one in a museum in Helsinki, Finland, and there is one in a private collection in London, England. But this one here is ours. It's so interesting. We were talking about how he doesn't look very scary, but that's just kind of how it is. And you said some kids asked about it that is, as it, well. It is a funny story that most of the children, we do thousands and thousands of school tours with fourth, fifth, and sixth graders, and a lot of them comment, well, that's not very scary. So we end up talking about the fact that in modern day times, they have computers and graphics, and they, that's what they see, that's what they know. But this is an authentic pirate flag that they cut the cloth out, put it all together, and if you were on a ship sailing in the Atlantic Ocean and a ship following you had that there, it would be very scary then. Still would be very scary. You still got the skull. You know what it is, even if Absolutely. he looks kind of pleasantly surprised right here. Thank you so much, Captain. You're we know welcome. that people will have to come and see this and all of the hundreds of artifacts for themselves. I know you love doing this. It's a very cool thing here. I mean, you can't get this everywhere. I love it here, and we invite everybody to come in. Whether you're a tourist or a Floridian, you must come to the St. Augustine Pirate and Treasure Museum and enjoy all the artifacts we have on display for you. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're and very welcome. reporting here in St. Augustine, I'm Renata Di Gregorio, First Coast News on your side.